Powerful American journey is ending the hit television series Mad Men. All those men and women trying to claim a piece of the shiny American dream in the 60s. This Sunday night, seven more episodes begin and the seven final ones next year. So we gathered the stars in one room with creator Matthew Weiner. These people who held us in suspense for nearly a decade teaching us about American lives. Here's how it began 10 years ago with this face, Don Draper, self-invented glamorous, like America in the 60s. And behind closed doors, cracked by secrets of a punishing Depression-era childhood. He's played by John Hamm. He's damaged goods in many ways, and he's doing the best he can. He strives, he drinks. He is brutally careless with women. Are you alone? like his partner, Roger Sterling. When God closes a door, he opens a dress. And every character in the cracked prism of the ad agency in the 60s sprang from the imagination of its creator, Matthew Weiner. I don't judge. That's been the secret of the whole show. I judge people in real life all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't judge these characters. They're all trying really, really hard to, to be good people. And this is where they live, inside a kind of 60s time capsule. It really is a replication of a real building. Weiner insists on authentic detail long before Starbucks, the one coffee everyone was drinking then. That, that's what should be in the office. This is where Jones gets ready. And, and on the nightstand, only Vaseline and Pond's cold cream. 23. And there with the mad men, three women, gladiators in an inhospitable decade. Christina Hendricks, who plays Joan. Okay, girls, play time's over. Was planned for just one episode, but no one could let her go. Joan would be a CEO in today's America, but then had to make a horrible choice, sleep with a client to give herself a chance at a future. She gets hurt and she goes home and deals with it. Our audience probably uh, mentions Joan's strength most of the time, but um, I really enjoy playing her vulnerability. And January Jones, who plays Don's first wife, Betty, doing battle with the narrowness of her life. She's hopeful and not just a t terrible mom. What the hell happened to you? Calm down. She's trying to be happy. And Elizabeth Moss, Peggy, who rises from the secretarial yeah, pool to an executive. Why is this so hard? Watching men take credit for her work. I think she's lonely and doesn't want to be alone for the rest of her life, like all of us. Just handle it. Women navigating a world that still belongs to the Don Drapers. Joan, don't worry, I will win this. Just once, I would like to hear you use the word we. Making a viewer want to reach out to free them. Out of the time capsule. Well, you get poor Betty, poor Joan, poor Peggy, and I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. They're like all rich, <clears throat> super successful, like doing what they want to do. All three I of these beg women. beg your pardon. They're doing all right. Do you yeah, see how you treat bumps. them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bumps. Let's talk oh, about this. That's we don't even I had a hard anymore. childhood. <laughs> Answer Diane. Wonder <laughs> <laughs> says people come up to him because the characters are personal. They come up and they're like, I'm Peggy. I'm I, Joan, that was me. Does anyone, anyone, anyone ever say, I'm Pete? <laughs> I do. Really? <laughs> Actor Vincent Kartheiser, by the way, this is how he looks in real life, but he actually shaves back his hairline. You can see it there to become the sweaty, anxious Pete. Do whatever it takes. And he just steps up and says, I'll be the, I'll be the face of this kind of ugly truth. And now, 10 years after it began, Weiner is writing the final episode. So we asked the actors who took us on this journey for a decade to give us a last word of their own. Just one word? Thank you. That's two. two. Oh. Thanks. Thanks. It's a little informal. <laughs> we're not very good when we're not written for. <laughs> Matt, what do I say? Uh, right. I don't know. I think that you will feel that it's ending. So your word is ending. One word, come on. <laughs> I'd like to say, it, uh, remember. Nostalgia literally means the pain from an old wound. Remember that the past is always present in your life. It is the beginning of the end, but it's not the end of the end. It takes us to a place. Like a Polaroid out of the 60s. Where we ache to go again. Fading, but still <laughs> indelible. And we'll have a lot more of the Mad Men interview tonight on Nightline and tomorrow on GMA.